It's my deep privilege and honor to welcome to Miami and to the book fair, John Leguizamo. I told my mom I was doing a graphic novel. I go, why are you doing a graphic novel? Graphic is dirty. It's... No, it's not that kind of graphic, mom. It's, it's a picture book. For children? No, no, mom. It's got a lot of dirty things in it. So maybe you were right. Where are we going? Where did she go? Where did Sandra go? She's our book fair, mommy. Oh, look at the books. I love books. Look how racist this is, the color sweet. That's so wrong, man. Only people of color can be in here. I can't even get in there. This is the green room? How's it going? I don't know who they are. <laughs> Dude, how's it going? What's up? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries. How you doing? You're making my entrance here very conspicuous, obviously. I'm not as incognito with y'all. The camera crew following me. You can't be an author and not have coffee. Or alcohol, but I'm not gonna say that. We, we got to Queens it, when it was white flight. You know, we were the first Latin family, so we were like pioneers. <laughs> and it was like manifest destiny in reverse. All the white people started to leave, white flight. <laughs> But before they left, they all beat me up. <laughs> I'm, I'm not joking. Hey, how you doing, boss? Have you met, have you met how you doing? the real boss? Oh, no. Hi, how are you? How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. He's the president of the whole college. Mira, I'm, I'm taking a picture with the president Absolutely. of the whole college. Thank you for having me. Very happy to have you here. Thank you, man. Very excited. Okay. It's my admire. first graphic novel. Did you read it? No, I haven't read it. Do you need a free copy or something? No, 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 I have <laughs> Sure. Oh, yeah, sorry, David. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. He's only the president of the college, but yeah, okay. Don't feel free to interrupt. <laughs> feel free to push him to the side. I had to be funny to defend myself on the street, and I had to be funny at home to deflect uh, the beatings. Mm. And I learned that humor was the thing that saved me, man. It, it, it was my self, it was my defense mechanism. It was the thing that gave me hope. It was the thing that, that kept danger at bay. Thank you for minting up before the interview. I appreciate that. Some people don't mint up and then all of a sudden they get close and their breath is not the most attractive. Uh, a graphic novel has to be well, a certain amount of pages. It can't be really, it can't be too long because people just don't have, they come to it with a certain attention span. And plus it, to draw more than 200 pages takes so many years of time. This this is 160 pages and it took two years. So every time you add more pages, you add another half year, another year. So it ha there's a commitment to be a certain length. Look at all the people looking at books. It's so cool. I love book fairs, man. Isn't it cool? The Kochman. How's it going? What's up? How you doing? Charlie Kochman. This is the guy who made my book possible. Oh, really? And you're the editor of the editor. Exactly. Right, right. That's true. And but you were, you were correcting more the illustrator's mistakes. I just wanted to introduce very quickly to my parents. Oh, your parents? Where are your parents? My dad and my Oh, wow. <laughs> How are you doing, sir? How are you doing? A pleasure. Nice to meet you. How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Finally. You guys have done a good job. I did. You did a good job. Look at a proud mom. The proud mom. Look, look, look. look. The proud mom is like, this is the money maker. <laughs> Cha -ching. Cha -ching. Keeps them off my couch. <laughs> I went to this acting teacher, uh, Lee, Miss Lee, Sylvia Lee, and uh, she was like Tweety Bird. She had like three hairs on top of her head. <laughs> Sounded like Catherine Hepburn. <laughs> hey, well, hey, you come in here with that terrible ghetto sound. I can't, can't even understand. <laughs> Although she sounded like she was holding a vibrator and whatnot. Yes. Is this, is this the college or is this PBS? Wow. Oh, I love oh, that no. PBS covers the, the book fans. It's so cool. Get his tongue, too. His tongue's a little shiny. His teeth, too. This is live? Did you read it? I did. You know what? Ha! Ah, PBS reads their shit. If it had been Fox, they wouldn't have read it. In Ghetto Clown, I was, I was, the, the moment where my dad and I come together when he, when he, gets, uh, he gets ill, yeah. it was a great time for me to forgive him. Yeah. And, and forgive the whole thing and move on. Because you got it at some point in your life. 
when you get to be as old as me, you gotta you gotta move on. And, and, and once you and, have kids and you understand yeah, being a parent, how and, difficult it is. Yeah, you you yeah. gotta make peace, and, and yeah. we all gotta get to that point. And that's what ghetto clown is about: forgiveness and and moving on. Because if you don't forgive, you you the only person you hurt is yourself. You're not hurt. You're, you're, you're carrying this rage doesn't hurt the other person because they don't even know you're angry. Yeah. It just hurts yourself. That's, That's in my therapy sessions will be 400 bucks an hour. <laughs>